you kindly put on the page we are live, okay? So, sure, sir. Meet everybody, and uh, from myself to everybody, a big congratulations for your feat that you have just achieved by qualifying as a chartered accountant with the Institute of Chartered Accountant Ghana. Uh, my name is Sigmund, Sigmund Eli Yabuga, and I'm actually a lecturer with ASPA. And uh, on this call, we have actually decided to do a webinar for our students who are qualified uh, in the just recent exam and giving opportunity to all other persons who have qualified uh, to be able to interact with the Institute, which is very important to have uh, an idea of all the processes and procedures required for a smooth uh, induction and graduation eventually in October this year. So it's a regular activity we normally carry out and it's good you are part of it. And I'm encouraging you to pay attention to the process. Some normally call it the paper 3.5 <laughs> of the professional qualification. So this whole process is even as difficult as you could imagine for case study and corporate reporting. So make sure that you adhere to the instructions and the requirements that uh, our colleague, very soon you call her colleague because once you are a member, we are all colleagues. Ekuya Afrakuma, who is a manager with the member services of the Institute, it's, it's a pleasure to invite her over to steer the affairs of this meeting. Her job actually is to help you appreciate all the needed uh, or all the key issues you need to pay attention to as you begin the process to uh, go through the registration process for membership application to be uh, inducted as well as graduate this October. So on that note, I will invite her to take up the floor. Uh, Equi, are you ready? Yes, Ali, I am. Good, 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 good. So Ali, if you are, the, you are loud and clear, Okay. Well, you don't want us to see your face. Why do you always hide your face? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, why do you like hiding your face? Today, let us see your face. Eh? Don't hide. <laughs> or oh, I'm putting you on the spot. Eh? <laughs> oh, not necessarily. Hi, everybody. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's good so that they see they see you well. Hey, and, I, uh, I've seen you small. So can I go off? Of course, sometimes it's when I'm in my oh, no worry. Yeah, I'm just I'm just kidding. Just take off. Just take off. <laughs> Just... Okay, thank you. Good, good. So um as Ellie has rightly said, we are we are both colleagues for you to soon join. Um I am Ikea Fakuma Frimpo, manager member services, and I'm the one who process or who will be processing your application for membership. I believe everyone on this call, minus a few people who are trickling in and uh, letting us know that you have changed your email addresses. And due to that, you've not received the mails. Um, sometimes I always advise members, your senior colleagues, that whenever you do change anything regarding our communication, our channels of communication, you have to immediately reach out to the Institute so that we amend and update your records. But I can see that a few people, about a three or four, which we had to update and then we send them the communiques that have gone. So just imagine if someone is also on this call and has not um, received the communication. But then notwithstanding, an email has already been sent yesterday and uh, congratulating you regarding your qualification as an ICAG um, mem associate. You are not a member yet, associate. So the mail um, includes a congratulatory letter, um, instructions for those applying for membership, and then a cover note or a cover letter for your referees and then a reference form that should be taken to the referee. So then when you are approaching any referee, you are required, that is for those who are applying for membership, you are required to kindly submit plus the reference form for each referee um, with a cover letter. Both go hand in hand. Please do not take just the reference form to the referee because they would ask you, what am I supposed to do with this? We've attached that so that it serves as an introduction as to what you require from the person. Secondly, in the um, congratulatory letter, we have laid out 
some things which you require. And it's very important and key for, to us because um, there are certain things that are going on out there where somebody has just completed the ICAG exams and is going about telling everybody that he or she is a chartered accountant. Please, you are not a chartered accountant and you have not chatted. You have just qualified. You've just completed the exams. Yeah. Unless you go through the process, you cannot refer to yourself as a chartered accountant. And this has specifically been um, stated in paragraph four of the congratulatory letter. It says, in the meantime, we need to emphasize that until you have applied and have been formally admitted as a member, you are not entitled to refer to yourself as a chartered accountant, nor use any abbreviated form CA after your name. We are very particular about that. And the act, our new act of 2020, which is Act 1058, specifically also states that and categorizes the various types of members that we do have. Currently, you all fall under Section 14, Subsection 3 of the Act, where you are all associates. You've completed the Institute exams, but you have yet to also apply and be admitted as members, where you would graduate from section um, Subsection 3 to Subsection 4. So... Yeah whilst we are processing ourselves to venture into upgrading ourselves, kindly let's not fall foul of the act. In the letter, you've also been implored to upload a professional color um, passport photograph with white background, wearing a black or blue black suit with white shirt. We've noticed that some of you or your predecessors or even currently on your student profiles, the pictures that you did take up on them, dear Lord, somebody was even standing at the beach. Can you imagine? I beg you, please, it's a professional program. So I would implore you to kindly please take it upon yourself to go to um, a photo studio and take this picture. It's very important because it serves two purposes for your professional identity on the portal because it is one of the criteria to meet when you're applying for membership. The people who would be reviewing your application are not staff of the Institute and they are senior members who are static in their approach to seeing you as their colleague. So if they're going to yeah. be reviewing you and weighing you as to whether you can join us or not, you need to first present yourself, you know, as worthy as possible. So can you please adhere to this and take the photograph for us? Second purpose for this particular photograph is that it will be in the brochure that we'll be using at the graduation ceremony on the 12th of October um, in two months or three months, three months. So I would please beg you, kindly take this photograph. And you've also been advised to send it, a copy of it saved with your full name and your place of work to admission support at icagh.com. Please do not send it to member services. Please do not send it to me. That specific email address has been created to collect passport size pictures, all those pictures, yeah. which will be collated and then would be given to the designers to be put in the brochure when the time comes. And we are time bound. We are time bound. You know, the period for reviewing and processing your applications is very short, given the time period. So kindly adhere to the timelines that have been given to you, which is, I think, on the 8th of August. And that is next week. I believe that's enough time for you to also get most of the things that are required of you. If you have attained the three years, pre- or post-accumulative, you can proceed to kindly also apply for membership. Some of you might be asking, Okay, so is the graduation fee part of the membership fee? Yes, it is. Are you going to be paying your subscription? Yes, you are now an associate. So you pay your annual subscription. But then if you're applying for membership, which falls due this year, it is part of it. If you're an associate, it's part of your graduation fee. So do not worry about it. And your subscription falls due 1st January of every year. And we've given you additional information as part of the um, letter 
So you will be you are seeing the instructions. So I'll come to it very shortly. But then I just need us to recap what we have read in the letter. If you have not read the letter, I implore you to kindly go back and read it. It's very important. Please. It's very, very key that you familiarize yourself with the contents of the congratulatory letter. Pardon me. So the deadline for payment of the graduation fees, that is if you are not applying for membership, is 13th September 2024. The deadline for graduation and admission fees, if that is if you are applying for membership and it's payable upon approval of your membership application and it will be duly also stated in the approval letter should your application be approved. That is when the date will be given. 8th August 2024 is the date for the submission, the deadline for the submission of your application for membership and also for your picture. And the pictures too, as to whether you're applying for membership or not, please, you are required to kindly send it to us. It's very important. The date for induction is 25th to 26th September 2024. Graduation, which is the grand ceremony, and it's for everyone, and it's a must that you should be there. Unless you are out of the country, which you would have to officially inform us via a written notice, or you are indisposed to the effect that you cannot make it. Or congratulations to our women who are pregnant and are by one way or the other cannot make it. Even if you have given birth and you can move about, please make it a point to be there at the UPSC Auditorium on the 12th of October, 2024. Reason being that, per the instructions and the provisions of the act, you will swear an oath. And that oath, you're supposed to take it in person. The oath is not taken in absentia. The CEO or the president will stand in proxy only for those who, did, who informed us via written notice. So if you did not inform us via written notice, Forget it. You will not get your certificate. And you might have to pay another graduation fees to be present on that day. So for our um, colleagues in the diaspora, as in those who have traveled outside the country, if you can, please make it a point to be here on the 12th of October to partake in the ceremony, which is very key to the completion of your hard work. So now we come to, and yes, you'll be wondering what dress code for the grand ceremony. It's for the men, black or blue black suit with a white shirt and a tie. And the tie will be provided. That is if you're applying for membership, you'll be given an ICAG tie, you'll be given a lapel pin, you'll be given a, what's it called that thing? A sash as well. For the ladies, it's a black or blue black suit with a white shirt or blouse. No tie for the ladies. It's a scarf. And you also get your lapel pin as well and then a sash. That is for those who are taking membership. If you are not, you can just wear your nice tie but same dress code, black or blue black suit with a shirt and tie for the gentleman and then with a shirt or blouse, white blouse for the ladies. So for now, you are all associates. I congratulate you once more, and we would quickly move into the instructions. So when you open the membership application form, now at first it was um, a hard copy form that you would fill. We'd have to take your files from the file rooms. Now we realize that we've gone digital, and so we have to also make the application for membership digital as well, so that you can do this exercise anywhere you find yourself in the world or in the country. So as soon as you open your bio data page, you will see that I have sent you two mails, two forms, actually. The first one that you did receive was to give us your details if you would be applying for membership. And the reason which was stated in the form was that that information will be given to the finance department 
so that anyone who is not applying for membership will be billed with a 2,570, that is a graduation fee. So you do not get mixed up in anything. At first, we had to bill everybody with a 2,570 and then upon approval, you would, would have to bill you again with a difference. But now we want to separate the process and make it as flexible and as fluid as possible. So that is the reason why we are giving you the opportunity to let us know if you will be applying for membership or not. And the deadline will still stick and the form will not be available by the said deadline. That is uh, 12 p.m. tomorrow, because tomorrow is second. We need to give the information to the finance department for them to start the billing process so that hopefully by Tuesday or by Wednesday, you would see your bill on the portal. That is if you are not applying for membership. If you are applying for membership, you will not see any bill on your portal. Reason being that you would have to pay when your application is approved. So as soon as you complete it and then you receive your approval text message, you would immediately also see the bill reflecting on your portal. It will be followed up with an approval letter, which will spell out the other details which you require to know. So as soon as you open your membership application, now if you would check your portal, you can see that it has changed from the student and you are now seeing your own as an associate where you can see the membership application coupled with um, transcripts and then some other details there. So that is the membership application portal or the associates portal. In the event that you see that you have any bill on it, kindly contact finance so that you can reconcile and clear any bills on it. That is, if you have any, um, I wouldn't be able to tell which bill specifically, but I've noticed that someone called, saying so he had about 300 CDs which might have been when the person was a student and some payments didn't go through or something. So if you do feel that, or you do find that you have such a situation, I would implore you to kindly contact our finance department and they will help you sort that kind of situation out. But as soon as you do open your portal and then you go to membership application, as soon as you click it, the, the second form that I did send you was to give to us the correct arrangement of your name. Our format is that we need your first name, your middle name, and your surname or your last name. The reason why probably you could not enter the middle name was because it was made mandatory. But thank you to um, the gentleman or some of you who prompted, we have made it non mandatory because not all of us have middle names. So if you do not have a middle name, please, Leave it blank. Don't go and put the non-applicable. I beg you, non-applicable is not a name. Just leave it blank because we are using a formula to populate the names. As soon as you put non-applicable, if your name, like me, is a Pierre Fakma Frimpong, it will come as it is. But if I am a Pierre Frimpong and I go and put non-applicable as a middle name, it will come a Pierre non-applicable Frimpong. So I beg you, kindly help us um, not to face such a situation. And as soon as you feel it once, it's okay. Don't feel again. I beg you. We have a lot of names also coming through. Proceeding to the next. When you go on there, after you filled the form, I would need you to kindly also, the name arrangements that you did give to us in this particular form that you filled, please ensure that the same name is on your bio data. It's very important that your two names are reconciled and they are the same. Because we want to avoid a situation where we have to reprint certificates. We've faced situations like that. That is why we are very, very um, key on this and avoiding this particular situation. So if my name, as I've given on the form, is a clear Sokuma frame form, and when it comes to the portal, and I'm seeing a Pierre from Paul Afakuma. That means my name's having to change. And then you would come back to us, letting us know oh, my name is not the same. And it's different on the final exam. And the one on the portal uh, on the membership is also different. We want to avoid that particular situation. So I beg you, make sure that the name that you have given in the form that you are filling for the final exam is the same as on the bio data. Because as soon as your application is approved and we 
extract the data. The list of names that will come is what we will print. We don't touch anybody's name. I want to repeat this. We do not touch anybody's name unless you tell us to. What you give us on the portal is what we present. That is how come I had to take this extra step. I'm not supposed to, but to avoid a reprint and also having people come that my name has changed and all of that, I beg you. That is the reason why we are giving you this Google form. Kindly ensure that you fill it with the correct arrangement of your name. And same as on the bio data. It's very important because certificate printing goes through a lot of checks. And given the time that I do have, it's very short for me. Thank you. So secondly, we go on to the white background password picture. As I have said, please scan and then upload it on your portal. That's number two. Number three, as I've also said early on regarding the letter when I was explaining the contents thereof and we're reminding ourselves, please ensure that the picture is in JPEG format. The format is very important because the software that we use, we design everything in-house. Our designer is in-house, so we don't take anything out. So that we protect the integrity of your pictures. The only time that it goes out is when it's going for printing. So everything is done in-house. So I'm begging you to kindly also make sure that the picture is scanned and saved in JPEG format. PDF won't help us. HTML doesn't work at all. So kindly ensure that it's in JPEG format and saved with your full name as would appear on the certificate like you filled in the form. I've realized that some people, I don't know, I beg you, if you don't know how to save a document, kindly get someone who can assist you to do so. We've had applicants send us their pictures, scanned pictures, and then in their mail, instead of them saving it and then sending it to us as we will require, they would now type underneath it your full name and then your place of work. So we would have to now go in and save your picture for you again, which will also drag us. So kindly help us to do that. And please watch the spelling of admission support. If you, you, you might mix up any of the letters, kindly just copy what's in the um, instructions and then paste when you are sending the mail. Because some people will come, oh, I've sent it already. And you go and see and the, the email admission support is missing an S or the ICAGH is missing an a, a G or an H. So can you take note of all of that? And please, just copy and paste it and send it to us. It is very important that every field in the bio data is filled. It is very, very key. Because wherever you see an asterisk, it's mandatory. Even if it's not, please ensure that you've provided every detail possible. It's very important. And then as part of the bio data, we realized that some applicants have been filling with their birth certificates. We don't need that. The only form of identification currently in the country is either your passport or your Ghana card. And in your Ghana card, if you're uploading it, make sure that you scan both the back and the front on one single doc on one single sheet and then upload it. If you are uploading any documents on the portal, please ensure that the size meets the required size on the portal. It never goes above one megabyte. So please be very conscious when you are doing the upload and check the format that it's also required on the portal. Because if your, your application will be successful or your upload will be successful, and you'll be able to move to the next stage, these are very key in doing that. Now we move on to the fourth one, which I've already explained that you should kindly fill every field in it and then scan and upload all your educational certificates as required in the education section. Please ensure that if you were you applied using your master's and you only uploaded the transcript from your master's, we require you to go back to your degree Get us your degree certificate, scan it on to put it on your portal. If you went to an SHS and you have your SHS certificate or SSC certificate, please scan and upload that too. Because when it comes to membership, we treat it as we are building a whole portfolio for you. And it will also serve as a backup because we've had members come back to us to take uh, copies 
of certificates which they had lost. So you don't just feel as though we are worrying you or something. It is also a backup for you for the future. So please, for some of you who took um, exemptions, who got exemptions, please ensure that if it was only your master's that you uploaded, please upload your degree or your HND. Please upload your SSE if you do have it. Or your degree or your HND certificate is very important. Kindly ensure that you've uploaded it. I don't know if there are any associates from the previous diets on this portal or on this meeting, but if you are here and you are from a different um, qualifying diet, say August 2022, November 2023, even March, no, March you've not graduated yet, sorry about that. But then March last year, 2023, or July 2023, please ensure that you add your ICAG final exam certificate, a copy of it, scan it, and then upload it. It's very important. Now we proceed to number six, filling your work experience. Please ensure that the month and year that you are putting on the portal is the same as in your CV. So point number six and point number seven work hand in hand. The required number of months to attain in order to qualify for membership is 36 months and it's cumulative, it's pre and then post. So if you are working currently and you've worked, you feel you've worked for more than, okay, so somebody will say it's, it's three years. So if you've worked for three years or more, you do qualify to apply for membership. And someone will be asking, so my three years, in what field? It should be in the field of accounting, audit, taxation, and ICT. If you have, if you're working as a teacher in the secondary school level or the high school level, since you do not qualify, you would have to resign and go into mainstream accounting work before you would be able to apply for membership. If you are a lecturer at the tertiary, you will be considered. But then the subject that you are teaching also plays a key role here. If you have worked at different places cumulatively to make it the 36 months or more, it is accepted. Part-time experience is not accepted here. If you are working part-time somewhere, that you are doing accounting job there, and yet still your full-time job is probably sales somewhere, you cannot apply for membership. Membership is strictly full-time, 36 months or more. You can include internship. You can include national service. You can include contract. They are all accepted, but part-time, no, please. It is not accepted. And when you are uploading your work, please ensure that you have correctly stated the month and the year that you started working there. The system has been set in such a way that as soon as you enter it and it does not tally to the required 36 months, your application will be rejected. It won't even proceed to come to my end. So please ensure that in the information that you are entry is correct. And also you are required to upload your CV. It is very, very important. Reason being that whatever that you have stated there as you work experience, we would refer to your CV. So please make sure that the information that you're providing tallies. If you're telling me that you have worked at ICAG, for eight years, and I go into your CV and you've worked for six, that means you have not been truthful. And that is tantamount to falsification or providing false evidence. And it will your application will be rejected. And we do background searches, so please ensure that the information that you're also providing is truthful. Because any misrepresentation will be faced with the right punitive measure. So kindly ensure that the information that you're providing us 
is as truthful and as accurate as possible. And your information also, please. Some people, in stating the, the, um, the educational background in a CV, end up, uh, probably they started ICG somewhere, maybe 2017 to date. Hey, that, that's too long. Sorry about that. About, say, 2020 or 2021 to July, you have completed. So, say, May 2021 to July 2024, um, you have completed. And the person writes education, the, ex the period, and then the qualification, you say chartered accountant. Please, you're not a chartered accountant yet. If you've written that in your CV, you can't go and edit it before you upload it. Number eight is very important because you realize that some of you would state your current work as um, your primary referee and then you upload your uh, a document or maybe a reference form. Please don't. You don't you're not supposed to upload any documents whatsoever if it states that your current referees or your current employers are your referee so your primary referee now coming to the work experience as, as well you'll be wondering okay so i've worked about i've worked at four other places before my current workplace am i supposed to state every place that i've worked at if you want to yes but then at least your three or your two most recent places that you exited plus your current place. We need that so that your page was, will also not be clum clumsy, like you wouldn't have so many clutter there. So kindly assist us in making sure that you, you keep it as short as possible, maybe two, three places plus your current place, and it tallies with the information in your CV. Proceeding to point number nine, referees. Now, this is where most of the questions come in. When we are looking at your referee, the requirement is to provide us with two referees. At least one of them has to be an ICAG member in good standing. But if you are lucky and you have a supervisor, but let me read it out. The requirement is to provide two referees. At least one must be an ICAG member in good standing. That is annual subscription paid to date who is supervised or have supervised your work. If we provide two referees or two CA members as referees, ensure that both of them are in good standing. I had an applicant last time call and it was a heated argument. I tried to explain, but this person will not even budge and listen to what I was telling him. Reason being that he has provided two referees who are ICAG members. And one of them is a member in Bustan. So shouldn't I be happy that one of them has paid his subscription to date? And I was like, that is not it. We do not allow that. That is not what the provision says. If you're giving us an ICAG referee, please ensure that the person is in good standing. And coming down to it, your lecturer, your friend, family members, and any person whom you have no work relationship with would not be accepted as a referee. So in this case, Mr. Sigmund Yabuga cannot be your referee. He only taught you. He did not supervise your work. So you cannot use him as your referee. Your referee should be someone who has supervised your work. In the events that your organization, you do not have an ICAG member there, I believe you do have auditors. And so a senior person or a partner in that audit firm can give you the reference. So you can get your referee who is an ICAG member from your firm if you do have one. But in case you do not have, you can also fall on your auditors. And when it comes to your firm and your, your company or your organization, and you do not have an ICAG member there, who has supervised your work, but the person is your colleague, same level, sorry, or your junior, 
please do not use that person as your referee. Your colleague or your subordinate who is an ICG member that's also not qualified to give you reference. I will just really implore you, kindly ensure that you do not fall into this trap. Also, you might have worked in different places. Two places or three places put together would give you the required 36 months or more experience that's been required. Are you supposed to give us referees from these places? Yes. Given that your current workplace, you've worked there for two years. Your other place, you've worked there for about nine months. So that is 24 plus nine, giving you 33. The three could have been your national service, which probably you might have done at the audit service or GRA. You are required to give us referees from all of these places. Kindly get a referee from GRA. Please get a referee from where you did your nine month experience and then your current workplace. And in providing all three, do ensure that at least one of them is an ICAG member who has supervised your work. Then the question will come. In the event that's where I have left, my supervisor is providing the reference. In the reference form, there is a section labeled 2.1. And it says relationship of referee to applicant. If the person is your former supervisor at your former workplace and the person still works there, he is supposed to state to that he or she was your former supervisor and state where or the organization that he or she supervised you at. Kindly take note of this. In the event that you have worked in a different place, you are no longer in their employment. I'm going to give you two scenarios. You are no longer in their employment. And the person is still working in that organization, but you are the person who's no longer working there. And you need a reference from that person. Kindly let the referee state in a 2.1 relationship of referee to applicant. Indicate that it's your former supervisor and state the organization's name where he has worked there with you at, that is for the 2.1. There's another 2.1 repeated, which is the name of the organization. So this particular name of the organization is where the person is currently working. So since this person has not left your former employment, you should stick to that today. The second scenario is where this other person who was your former supervisor, the both of you have already left that place and yet he's working in a different office or a different employment. He should still state in 2.1, the first one, that he was your former supervisor at AAA Limited. And then he would now come and state his current workplace at the name of the organization and give the details of the location of the organization. Please take note of this and kindly point it out to your referees. It's very important because we've rejected some people's applications based on this confusion. Some referees might go and then indicate that they were their former supervisor. Where? We don't know. We have provided a name of organization, a different place. We checked the person's CV and he's never worked in any in that organization before in the CV. So then there is a mishap. You might have to call the person and then you will be explaining, oh, I no longer work there. I work in a different place. Then we, we try and come back and forth where we have to reject the application for the person to go and work on it. And mind you, the time frame for processing this particular set of application is very short. So please take note of this and let us avoid falling into this trap. The next one I would want to go to would be number 11, number 11. I've already spoken about number 10, where in the events that you do not have an ICAG member in your organization, a senior person from your auditors or is a partner, senior manager, um, a director in the audit firm who is an ICAG member in good standing can be your referee. The number 11 is that in case your referee is your formal supervisor 
I've already also explained this. So number 12, which the reference form provided in your mail should be filled. So I've sent the reference form already to you via mail. You need two or three, depending on the number of referees that you require. Please ensure that your referees stamp, sign and stamp it. They should sign and stamp the form. It is a requirement. Somebody has also, some people come to us, oh, our fee does not have a stamp. Every organization registered under the Ghana, um, com, com, uh, let's, let's forget about that one. Any company in this country has a stamp, whether digital or an actual stamp. So kindly ensure that it is signed and stamped. I know there are some audit firms who, the senior auditors are the only people who have the stamps. That is the reason why we're insisting that whoever is giving you the reference should be a senior person so that you do not also have to face this particular problem. We've also had applicants who are their own bosses. Someone will come at you and will tell you, I don't, I don't have a supervisor. I'm, I'm saying the CEO, uh, I own my own company. So in this case, what do I do? Please, you have auditors. Let your auditor give you the reference. If your auditor is there and your HR, because that person knows you through and through. Your HR can also give you another reference. Given that you've only worked or your that is your only place of work, but if you have worked in a different place, the auditors in your organization can give you one and then your former workplace too, they can give you another reference. Can you take notes and please adhere to that for me? In the event that the reference form comes back and then it has not been signed or stamped, your application will be rejected. If it's four reference forms that you're uploading for four different referees, please ensure that the referee that you are uploading the form for is the right person. We've had incidences where somebody is uploading a form for Ajwata. The name of the referee is Ajwata, but you go and you click to view the reference form and you'll find that it is Kotobo too. Pardon me if there's anybody by that name. I, these are just sort of study. So kindly ensure that the referee that you state there has a corresponding reference form uploaded. It is very important so that you pay attention to details at this stage of your application and even in your professional life. Attention to detail is very, very key. And that. As I've also said, number 14, which is my favorite part. The second sentence, the first one says, can you ensure your referees are made aware to sign and stamp the reference form as a form submitted without that to be rejected? That is the first one. My favorite section is this. The reference form must be filled by your referees in an explanatory form during the assessment section. And that starts from 3.5.1 to 3.5.4 and not rated. You would have reference forms come and then you find good, excellent. 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10. Very good. No. The referee is expected to tell us or to rate us or to assess you in the field of accounting, auditing, taxation, and ICT. A referee could come up and then tell us that in their experience with you, 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 you do not do anything taxation-wise. And we, we are taken aback because even if you are with payables, or even if you work under receivables, whichever work that you are doing as an accountant in any organization, no matter your work schedule, all of these four fields encompasses you. Because definitely you are working as an accountant. So definitely your debit and your credit is ongoing. You experience audits. 
And even if you do not experience it by being audited, any document that is before you, you do not just proceed to process it. You check for certain things before you do. That is the act of auditing. And when it comes to taxation, every transaction lately in this country is tax bound. So definitely you work some tax components or you do even see and have to calculate some things tax wise within it. And being in the a digital era, sad digitalization, yes, we are in an era where everything has gone online. If not, you are using the computer one way or the other. So I beg you, please let your referee make sure that you are communicating with this person and letting the person know that all the fields are required to be assessed on and not to that they did not supervise you in any of them. And last but not the least, as I've already said, part time work experience would not be accepted. And same with references from part time referees. Somebody will say, Oh, I am the church treasurer. Where do you work? I work with Ghana Audit Service. And then you will find that your church pastor has given, or your church reverend has given a reference. That is your part time work. You do not work full time in your church. It is something you are doing for God. God bless you for that. But please, when it comes to ICG membership application, we do not require it. Can you give us references from people that you work for full time and not part time? On this note, I would bring it to, I'm not bringing it to one end though, but I'm opening it up for um, any questions that you might have. Hello, Ellie. Yeah, okay, Madam Okia, I'm here. This hi. is Boachi. Okay, hi, Boachi, how are you? So, yeah, thank, uh, I'm good, and yourself? Well, I'm fly. I think it's been longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has, I know. Right? It's not easy. So I'll be the one helping with the questions from our students and okay. members. Okay. Uh, so for now, how do you want to? Should we take the hands first or the question? Uh, the the ones in the Q and A well, box. As long first? as it's a question, I'm ready to answer. Okay. So then let me take the Q and A box first. Then I'll come to the hands. So okay. uh, my people, pardon me. Let me take the ones in the Q and A box first. So if you have any question. For now, I think I have about three questions inside. So I'll read. I'll read on. Let me. Uh, one is saying that in a case where your father is an ICAG member, and who is also your employer, can he be your your referee? No. Okay. He cannot. I okay. don't think he's the only person in the organization that should work with, unless it's just the two of you. But if All it's right. not, even if it's the two of you, no, he cannot give you. You have auditors. So can they fall on your auditors to give you the weapon? Okay. Thank you very much. And this is from Samuel from Pong. Hey, Samuel from Pong and from Pong. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't qualify to be inducted this September due to the three years working experience, mm -hmm. when will be the next induction ceremony? Next year, we're yet to fix, but then next year, may I ask her what his experience is? Because for as long as you meet the 36 months, as soon as it's open next year, mail will be sent to all associates and uh, you can apply. Okay. Okay. So, Samuel from Pong, I hope you are okay. This one is your name or who is talking. So. <laughs> and this is an anonymous person. The person's name is not there. Please, can a board member who is a member be a referee? No, please. Okay. A board member only comes for board meetings. They do not work with you or supervise your work. So okay. I'd rather we stick to those who directly provide you, um, you work under. All right. That's fine. And we have James Boahin Kofi. So James is asking, what is the difference between business name and employer name? Right, James. <laughs> It's the same thing. This one, the James. Well, um, I'm maybe... wondering where you picked that from. If you could please explain that, that would really help. Okay. So maybe James will come back once again and sure, sure. You get me. 
Now, Sairam is asking, what should be the color of the tie? Maybe Sairam is not coming. Me, as long as it, it's, it's not, um, it should be a professional tie. And, you know, as professionals, we do know the ties we wear to work. So if you are, I will not be able to tell the color, but then I believe that we do have very professional colors out there. Okay. We're good to go with that. Okay. So, so say, I'm don't go and wear any in tomato. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> So we have one from Salim. Salim is asking, Madam, please, after my service, I worked at a farm as a farm company as an accountant before my current appointment at audit. Mm -hmm. Hey, your Salim, your question is not complete though. So let me move on to the next one because the question is not complete. Okay. Uh Anna is saying, please, how do I know if the form I fill had gone through successfully? As soon as you click on um, submit, you would get a text message. Okay. Which form actually is he is the person referring to? Is it the um, application form or is it the Google Forms? This one is will be in uh, I think Anna will be in the best position, but since it's yes. in a queue, it will be very difficult. Unless maybe she raised her hand up then. Okay. Talk about it later. I think Salim continue. He said, please can my boss at the farm company be my referee? Okay. Yes. So this one at a farm company as an mm -hmm. accountant, and he wants to know if the boss can fill the form as a referee. Definitely, he can. Okay. All right. Then John is absent. ABG Consult is my employer, but I work mm -hmm. at the office of the re uh, the receiver. At the so office of the if, receiver. If I get him right, that means he's on second mate at the office of the receiver. Oh, okay. Okay. That's okay. basically what that means because I know that the receiver subcontracts other firms for them to get the staff that he needs to work oh, with. Okay. So if right. that's the case, then ABG Consult would have to give you the reference. The reference. Because okay. whatever you do, you still go back to them and they review your work. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, madam. And Prisla. Prisla is, please, What's the difference between induction and graduation? Induction uh, is a two-day program where okay. you are rigorously taking through all the etiquette, all the knowledge, the rules and regulations, the act, its provisions, the guidelines that you require to practice as an accountant in this country. The graduation or the admission ceremony is just a grand event to end it all or to crown it all. Okay. So what I think what Priscilla actually wanted to know is are we to wear suit for both? Well, the induction is a virtual program. You are expected to be dressed professionally, but we are not so strict on how you present yourself. But please ensure that you are not even missing sleepless or revealing. And although the videos are also off, but you don't know when your video might be turned on. We, we have always prayed against having to let's to see um applicants' videos and probably seeing somebody in the bathroom <laughs> or the kitchen. <laughs> so um you are required to respectfully be dressed officially during the induction ceremony. Okay. Thank you very much, madam. And there's this person, anonymous attendee. So please, do we uh, do you need to go through all this process if you are applying as an associate? No, you don't. Okay. For as an associate, oh. you just pay your graduation fees, you doll up, and you meet us on 12th October. There's this question I think I shouldn't read though, but let me read to all of this. Can someone who works at the bank apply for membership? Yes. Mm -hmm. But in which capacity? That's also very key. Okay. Okay. Then let's talk about Joseph. Joseph is asking, please, 
if you have worked in the same entity for more than 36 months, do you still need to re refresh from the same entity? Yes, we do. Okay. And AOB, AOB is saying, please, there's a slight difference in the March and July letter regarding adding your job schedule and posting of confidential letters. It will be, this is not a question, though, so it's like, we are not getting you. Yeah. So I'll move on to the next person. Agama uh, Ignatus, he's asking, did I hear say the, hey, did I hear say the closing date for something is tomorrow? Hey, hey. Agama, I can't, I can't get your point, though. Okay, I think I get what he's saying. <laughs> the closing date for the submission or the filling of the uh, membership intent. Okay. So somebody referred to it as membership application. It is not. It is only you filling the form to let us know that you, you will be applying for membership and it's for billing purposes. That is where I always point out to that. Please read and pay attention to the details of every document that is given to you so that you do not go and misconstrue when you are out there. So yes, the deadline for the sub or the filling or submission of the Google form for your intent to apply for membership is 12 p.m. tomorrow. They will stop receiving responses. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Then we have Abigail. How do you change the picture in your portal? There, there isn't an edit tab for it. So Abigail is asking how he, uh, she can change her picture. Has I think she has she gone for, applying for she... membership. Um, please, I didn't get your question. If the person has tried applying for membership, you would know that you have the opportunity to do so. Oh, okay. Okay. So Abigail, if you're applying for membership, then there's opportunity to do that. Uh, this is an anonymous attendee. So please, does procurement and stores fall under uh, into the category of accounting? Of course. There is an accounting provision even for that. Okay. And then we have a synam. What if my former worker or supervisor mm -hmm. is on retirement? Can he still apply as a referee? Unfortunately, <laughs> no. Because he would not have access to the stamp. Okay. And he is no longer in active employment. We would only wish that you would kindly provide us with referees who are in active employment. Yeah. So, uh, madam, does that mean, let me ask this question for my people. Mm -hmm. Does that mean if I've worked under somebody for the 36 months, let me say 38 months, but I've worked, uh, let me say I work, I've worked for 38 months, but I worked under somebody for 36 months who has gone on retirement just this month. That means, uh, I'll not be able to apply for membership. That is, is that where your auditors come in. Okay. Okay. All right. I wanted to ask this question before my people comes in. Yeah. Okay. So your auditors will come in and then you can also get another reference from your CEO and your head directors who might not also be an ICG member or your HR. Okay. All right. And one other question we have here is please come she talk about passport and national card significance again. What is the... Only accepted. Okay. Only accepted um, requirement as far as your identification is concerned in the Republic of Ghana. We do not need your driver's license. Please don't upload your driver's license. It's only your passport or your Ghana card. Okay. There's a lot of questions, but uh, I won't I won't talk about this one because the person is asking what is the induction about. I, I think you've talked about that one. And yeah. this person is saying, a colleague wrote six papers at a goal to qualify, two from level two and four from level three, which I know the maximum to write a, at a goal is five. Does a person qualify after passing the... Oh, this, this should not come here. Mm -hmm. Is the person's <laughs> name in the pass list? I don't even know. This is an anonymous attendee. I don't know. Because, wait, there's anybody who passes <laughs> me. So, what, 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 what,
Oh. <laughs> so uh I think Lawa Lawa is saying if your organization's audit committee member is ICAG member, can he be a referee? Nope. Audit okay. committees are also on an audit committee. We only go there twice a year or three times a year. They cannot assess your work. Don't they only read reports. Sure. So please, what about if my former sup supervisor we've talked about this one, the retirement issue. Mm -hmm. and then Samuel is saying if the two or three referees are from the same organization, is it acceptable? I think okay, you've talked about this one also. Right? Yes. And then Chris Chris is saying, please, if you have previously worked in the field, in the field, um, in the field, the area stated for qualification and currently you are working in SUS, can you use the old working experience which sums up to the 36 months to apply? Of course, yes, you can. But then you have to still state where you can be. Okay, where. all right. And we have Priscilla Watson Asari. Please, what's the difference between induction and that? You've talked about this one already. Mm -hmm. And then, please, if you have August and next month left to make your 36 months, will you be okay? Will it be okay? <laughs> next <laughs> month is when we are doing the induction please wait next year next year then you do that mm. <laughs> Franklin I serve as an audit committee member for the internal audit agency on a district assembly does it qualify as contract or it's part time it's part time part time okay please on the reference form would she elaborate on the 3.4 thank you Okay, 3.4 again. Madam, will you do that or we should go on to the next one? I'm even looking at the 3.4 is referring to. Yes, the applicant's grade and work schedule. It is your work schedule. So please ensure that you let us know what it is that you are doing at the place that the referent, the referee is giving you the reference form from and then attaches to it. So it should be in a word document or whichever document that would fit. And you have to scan and upload them both as one document. Coming to the reference form, can you pick them from your referees and scan them and upload them on the portal? Okay. I repeat okay. this. Please pick the reference forms from your referees, scan them, and upload them on the portal. Thank you. All right. Thank you. This is Michelle. Oh, sorry. It's Michael. Sorry, Michael. Not it. Can you provide further clarity on how to state the education period on the CV? Your CV? Oh, but your CV, that's your own CV. <laughs> the CV, there is your own CV, Michael. Oh. Okay, and then Leslie is saying it's on the portal. Oh, okay, I think Leslie wanted to answer someone. And then Bismarck Bekoi. So Bismarck is asking instruction three. Please shoot the passport size photo be be named together with the organization's name. Mm -hmm. uh, how you okay. are saving the documents, what, how you save every document in your office. So how you are saving this particular one would have to be with your full name and your organization. So you can just hyphenate it. And then okay. you continue with your organization's name. All right. That's fine. Please, I have submitted my documents but have still not received any feedback. I qualified I qualified in March 2024. Reviews are not over, so be patient. Okay, all right, that's fine. Wow, this is a long question, but let me see. Cash, hey, the person is cash money trading enterprise. Then Charlie, give oh. us cash. <laughs> <laughs> cash money. Cash uh, money. What do you have by? <laughs> so, First is I worked at GRA for oh who is this? Please a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the person is I worked at GRA for my national service in Tamale. Okay. I worked in a company for ABD half for a is it for one and a half year or so? It's not clear. I work in a company for half year in Tamale. I don't know what it is though. 
I'm now a self-employed engaged in retail business online without co colleagues or workers. How many references do I need to provide? Hmm. So the person first worked as a national service person in Tamale. One from and, there. and worked in another company. Let me say one in a one, maybe one in a, a half year or so. He in, requires in another from there. Okay, and now he's a self-employed with no police or workers. Mm -hmm. How so, many reference? Why? So he doesn't have auditors. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I you don't do have auditors, it. you can get the reference from your auditors. If you don't, then my dear, unless you put stringent measures in place to get yourself an auditor, will be auditing your operations, and then you wait and apply when you do. So, okay, I now understand where the cash money trading is coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a big person. <laughs> now we have an anonymous person who is asking, please, the only thing being required from the referee is just the reference form. Yes. No reference letter. So does that yes. mean no reference letter? We do not require a reference letter. Okay, that's fine. That is what the content of the letter pushed us to design the form because some of the letters that were brought were woefully inadequate for the purpose for which we wished to it to serve. So we had to generate the form out of the content that we require to be in the form, letter, sorry. So the letter suffices. Sorry, the form suffices. Okay. There's one question here. <laughs> Martin. Martin is asking, in a case where you have resigned, from a company and have received an appointment from another company, but yet to start. Which of these companies can you use as your current employer? Hmm. You are yet to start your, your current place. Yes. Hey, why? Boy, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so in this case, <laughs> You do not have a current employer because the, the system would give you the period from and then to that you've worked. So just state your current place and ignore no the where you just resigned from. And please do not even bring because you've not even started there yet. Okay. But if by the time that you are applying, you have, you can put that to there. And somebody will be asking, it says from and then to, but I'm still working there. Which date should I put at the two? The current date that you are applying for membership, that is where you would put the date at, since you are still in their employment. Okay. All right. So this is an anonymous attendee. Let me read this out. Uh, this will go much with the March dates before. So the person is absent. I've already submitted my membership application for the March date mm -hmm. and still waiting and still waiting for approval. Okay. However, I have received the email for graduation. I have already paid for the graduation. Mm -hmm. And the question is, upon my membership approval, do I receive the difference as a bill to pay? Sure, you don't want to pay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you pay the difference. <laughs> okay. Yes, you pay the difference. So A O B here again. So the uh, he's asking that in filling the job experience mm. doesn't populate in order. Would that pose a problem? No, it would not. Uh, please come, Madam. I can elaborate on point three for me. Thank you. Point three. Point three where? Uh, the person just stated point three. I think you say point three, there are lots of point three, so unless probably he's referring to the instructions. Maybe, yeah, the guidelines, yeah. It's just about the saving of the parcel picture, which I've already said. Just save it oh. as you save any documents in your name and your place of work, and then you send a copy, you send it to the admission support at icgh.com. If you can't type it, please, for error sake, just copy and paste. Okay. I think this person wants all of us to know that he has taught him as an accounting teacher for eight years, but no oh, problem. Yeah. 
How That's about <laughs> how about you taught as an accounting teacher at SHS for eight years before working at GRE for two years? Well, I think you'd that... have to complete three years at GRE before you can apply for membership because SHS, no. Okay, that's fine. So it means all this eight years SHS accounting teacher is no. Mm, unfortunately. Now, now we know that you taught at SHS for eight years. Okay. Congratulations. Why are they? <laughs> What if your former supervisor is a retired but CA member in good standing? We've talked about this one already, so yes. let me go to the next one. It's a soft copy of passport size picture acceptable or it should be a scanned one. But you have to scan it to make it soft. <laughs> and All right. I, I know. <laughs> That's... Please, I just joined. I just joined. I want to know if you're Referee is your boss who is a member in good standing and a former boss who is not a member and is retired. As for the retired, we talk about that one. Yeah. So yeah, the first like, question, I don't understand what you would want. Please, I just joined. I want to know if your referee is your boss who is mm -hmm. a member in good standing. Uh, this one. Oh. It's not that. Yeah. So if Maybe when it comes to the hands one, maybe you'll get a person work. Yeah. Okay. Please, where do we upload the cover letter of the referee? Is there any cover letter? The cover letter is not to be uploaded. It's just for you to give it to your referees as an introduction to the form you're giving. All right. Okay. The form in the congratulatory email. Okay, I think Anna wanted to answer someone. Okay. Linda will be if my name on the bio and graduating list is just the first and surname, but my Ghana card has a middle name, will I have an issue? Yes, you would. Where is the middle name coming from? <laughs> because I know that there have been situations where people went and then registered on the Ghana card some names which they have not even been using for only God knows how long. And so their uh -huh. Ghana cards bear names that officially or legally they are not using it, which okay. you would have to swear an affidavit or even have to back it with a gazette. So for us not to have any problem whatsoever regarding your identity on the Ghana card as compared to that in your bio data, please ensure that you have uploaded either a gazette or like indicating or a swear an affidavit as to why you've added that additional name. And if it's a, a name change, because we would check your previous certificate. And if we check the certificate and you do not have that particular name as on your Ghana cards on any of those certificates, it means you have done an additional name, which you would have to swear an affidavit and also gazette it. And that will yeah. take about two weeks. By that time, which your application has, um, the deadline for application has also elapsed. So for us to save ourselves all this trouble, Please ensure that whichever document you are uploading reconciles the names and everything runs through. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, there's an anonymous attendee here who is asking. Um, uh, okay, if you don't take it, you get query for, from some people. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this person is asking that he completed the match mm -hmm. and their membership application has not yet been approved. But I've already been stated it in the letter and um, in the mail that was sent to them, I think on, was it on Tuesday, that your applications, the reviews are still ongoing. So if you have not received it, you should please be patient. The people who review your applications are not staff of the Institute. Okay. So we do not own their time. Yeah. And they do it as and when they can. So fingers crossed, hopefully, I'm just hoping that maybe my Monday or Tuesday, all of the match would have been cleared. Thank you. So please be patient. And okay. for this particular batch too, I would implore <clears throat> you, it is a tedious process. If you have, if you don't have patience, I beg you, if they sell it in drug stores or pharmacies, please go and find mm -hmm. those pills and buy. Because you would require a lot of it. It will require a lot of tenacity. It requires a lot of perseverance. 
trust me, it is not difficult, but it is quite a scrutiny. Uh, li, uh, lady, lady, please. Sorry, if, uh, I did, I did not mention the name. Well, Lady Rider or Lady Rider, I don't know. Any of them goes. Can a board member of ICAG, who is my director at work, be my reference, uh, referee? Yeah. Okay, that is true. Yeah, and then we have uh, an anonymous attendee who is absent. Good evening, madam. Please, I am part of the March site, but wasn't able to fill the Google form for membership. I have paid the associate fee and, proceed, and proceeded to apply for membership. But as of now, I have not recorded, uh, received, I have not received my approval. I don't really know my son now. And I'm, this person is confused. And if you go and take the abortive <laughs> pill and, and wait, and uh, if by God's grace your application is approved, then you will pay the difference. Okay, and that's fine. Please, I received only the mail with the Google form. So this person is saying that he received only the mail with the Google form. And we take his form. Okay. Do I still have to fill any form, even though I don't qualify for membership? No. The only oh. form that you need to fill is the Google form. All the right. one for the final exam certificate list. Oh, okay. I think it is a continuation. So the person was saying that he received the mail for the go only the Google form and asked him if he can fill any other form, even though he doesn't qualify for membership. So I think the answer is fine now. Um I wish we should go to let me go down because most of the question has been answered during your presentation. Okay. Let me now take from down. Please, my supervisor is a foreigner and has no Ghana card. Can he use the foreign na national card? The supervisors are not are not to, to provide us with any forms of identification. That's fine. So, so that it doesn't That's matter. Fine. And Anonymous attendees asking, how many times will you be given the chance to do corrections on the portal for membership application? As many as it fits within our time frame. But please, that always stand. Don't, don't, don't be giving us situations where we'll be rejecting your application. It's not nice. And it drags the process. Trust me. It drags it. And you are the same people who come back, I have applied to that, I have not heard from you. I think I need to, please, anybody who works in any of the pharmaceutical companies, can you tell them that um, I have um, a suggestion where we need to produce this particular abortion drug because I see the membership application, yeah. applicants would need that. Okay, so there's this question here. I think people are very particular about their name. So what mm. happens if I registered as Kofi Mensa? Mm. The name on the past list was Kofi Mensa. Mm -hmm. However, currently there had been change. There had been change of name to Kofi Apia. Kofi Apia has been gazetted, and my mm -hmm. present Ghana card and passport has the new name, which is Kofi Apia. Okay. What name should I use in filling the Google form? Uh, the Google form. Ghana card, the Google form, and a mail should be sent to us with your new name on the gazette. I mean, the Gazette with your Ghana card should be sent to us to officially inform us of your change. When you are applying for membership in the bio data, you're supposed to fill in with your name, change it as applies. And when you are uploading your Ghana card, attach the Google form. So scan, oh, sorry, attach the Gazette. So scan them as one document and upload. Okay. So... I will take this last two questions so that we can go to the one uh, one so that at least we can call it a day. So please, I'm working with bank, but not in the accounts department. Can I apply for the membership? And can that's another issue. Yes, the department is very important. 
Because if okay. you are working in the bus, you work in HR. So, so do you know the next question that was coming is if the HR can endorse as a as a referee? The HR can endorse as a referee, yes. But then, which department but are you? The department is another issue. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So please, I think Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam is saying, please, if for some reasons I have not received any email, can I pass by the ICAD office tomorrow for the necessary action since the deadline is tomorrow midday? Depends on why you have not received it. I don't understand. Has he also checked his spam? Well, Uncle Sam, please kindly check your spam as well. If he has still evening. not received anything, then he can pass by the office. We'll try. But please make sure that you come here before 12. <laughs> All right, that's fine. So that is, um. so let me take one last question. Please, the person wrote six papers at a go. Hey, this question is again. Hey, uh, Samuel, who's here now? <laughs> <laughs> so for the papers you wrote today, nobody cares. Really. Right now, we, we we want to get membership and associate uh, certificate. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. like my next question is that, so this particular person that's he's referring to, is the person's name in the past list? And now, or Felisa, yeah, one, or it's too good to be true. <laughs> oh, it be my blue. <laughs> okay, so this same question, and it has been reframed, reframed again by Cash, Money trading enterprise. Wait, I'll die. That's so, <laughs> <laughs> money trading. Maybe he wants to sponsor us with some cash. Base. So I let mean, me still I read mean. the question again. <laughs> so, cash money trading enterprise says uh, <laughs> the name is Abraham Kojo Adeko. That's his name? Yeah, that's the name. That's actually the name for the person using cash money trading enterprise. Okay. And he's saying that I worked at GRE for my national service. I also mm. worked in a company for five and a half years and left and left. And mm. the company is no longer in existence. Huh. I'm yes. now self-employed and engaged in online business retail. I have no workers or supervisors. How so many referees? This, this particular company, didn't they have auditors? Hmm. Okay. Because if they did have auditors, then yes, yeah, you can follow the auditing plan for them to give you the reference. Okay. Okay. I think then that answers the question for cash money trading. I'm very particular about the name. No worry, we'll definitely do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody is asking, please, what deadline are we talking about? Wow. So, I I the... sure, sure, sure. so please, my people, let me go back to the, you can raise your hand there so that I can take your question. Because if I say I want to stay at only the Q&A, then we will be there the whole day. So, madam, let me switch to the audio one so that, oh. because I, I believe people can express themselves more now. Mm. Do we have IQ here? Because I cannot commit them. It's like, let me get it. Yeah, Roger, let me help you. I think that I to unmute them for me. Roger, I'm here. Okay, so I if you can please unmute them for me. I think we have uh, John Mark Obina. Mr. John, are you there? Okay, if Mr. John is not there, then patient, watch it. Yes, good, evening. Good, good evening, madam. Yes. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Yes, please. I have two, three questions. Okay, uh, with a reference form. Mm -hmm. Um, My former supervisor left in December and he's working though. So I wanted to find out from you the 2.1, the name of the organization. Is it his organization or where we were working together? His organization. His organization. I kind of spent about two minutes to explain this particular site. Okay. I believe this um re this recording will be shared. Yes. Yes. It okay. Will be shared. Yes. Because mm -hmm. I was very emphatic regarding okay. the particular section. 
Okay. So the advice I will give Madam Patient is, uh, please try and then watch back the video again because I think Madam Akria spent about three minutes or so in explaining that search. I just want clarity because of what she said that you should put the former it's a relationship with the referee. So former supervisor, that is my boss. As that at the company that he supervised you at, and then the second place would be where he is working. No. Okay, that's what I wanted to yes. get clarity okay. on. All right. Yeah. Then yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, so I if we can unmute Mrs. Audrey. Dorinda in coma. Mrs. Audrey. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Madam. Yeah, please. My question is on the referees. Um, my question is that um, what if um, in my current place of work, I've worked for more than thirty six uh, months. Can I still pick all the referees from that place, even though I'll state in the form that uh, I've worked in other places as well? Yes, you can. Okay, so. Because I've worked more than three years, I can pick all the refuse from my current place of work. All right, yes, thank but you. But then it's advisable that you get one from there and then probably one from another place. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. And I think the next person is Mr. Francis. I right, please let's unmute Mr. Francis to talk in. Okay, I think I can now allow them to talk, so that's fine. Mr. Francis. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, boss. Um. Please. Uh. My question is. Um. Let's as. Let's assume that. Uh. You are two. Working in the same organization. Come one boss sign for. Oh. I think, Mr. Francis, your network is very bad. I think what he can... means to ask is that if there are two who have qualified and will be applying for membership and have the same supervisor, if you can use the same person, yes, you can. Okay. But, Madam Okia, okay, let's, uh, this one, he said there are two for the same company. I, and I think that is what he meant. Yes. There are two applicants working with the same company with the same supervisor. Yes, yes. So yes, that same yes. person can do that for you. Okay. Okay. That is fine. Then uh Mr. Martin A. Bankers. If you can please omit yourself and talk. Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin. Hi, please. Are you there? I'm here, Rocky. Uh, can you please unmute Mr. Martin for me? I think I'm I able think to do it. network. Oh, okay. Okay. Then, Mr. Emmanuel Obuama. Mr. Emmanuel. Um, good evening. Good evening. Please. I'm giving a scenario. My name is Miriam Akwele Mensa, but on my bio, it is Miriam Mensa, but I have an affidavit. And on all my documents, I have Miriam, Miriam Akwele Mensa. Can I still go ahead and fill the forms? And please ensure that the name also reflects same. And the affidavit is scanned and uploaded alongside with your Ghana card. Okay, please. And a second question. I meet the 36 months requirements, but currently unemployed. What do I do about that? You can still go ahead and then apply. Okay. Thank you very you much. You don't necessarily have to be in full employment as at the time you're applying for membership. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. So, Mrs. Abigo. Abigo. Okay. Uh, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, madam, please, I wanted to find out uh, my name. My name on my Ghana card and the one at my bio bears my middle name. But my master's uh, certificate doesn't bear my middle name. Can I still go ahead and sort of all? But by the way, I've, I swear I've been David and everything. Should I upload I them? I just answered that with the other ladies. 
So it it also applies to you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. okay, so Mr. Felish, Benny. Hi, right, good evening, Madam Chair. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, so, uh, so two things. So if you're not in the country and then you may not be you're applying for membership, you may not be able to come for the, uh, you mentioned a particular program before the, is it an induction, sorry? Induction is virtual. It's virtual, okay, okay, super, that's fine. And my second question, on the portal, you don't see membership intent, but you see mem membership, member registration, there and it says register. That was only stated in the Google form. It's a different, two different documents. Okay, so, so when you put the Google form, it means that's the intent form? Yes. Okay, sure, super, thank you. Okay. All right, so I think, hmm. A O B will not give chance. So let me let me give A O B that. And the way A O B was asking questions in the Q and A, and has come here back again. A -O -B, yes, let's... my first question wasn't clear. Okay. So the reference form was stating that we should furnish the institute with a confidential report. A colleague who completed the match, they were asked to post it. So I'm asking if we are supposed to do that. No, so read the cover letter. It would let you know what you're required to also do. We don't need the hard copy. Yes, please. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. No, for, for it will be, let me ask if she's okay. Please, I hope you are okay now. <laughs> yes, please. So there will be no more questions from you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Oh, I don't know why cash money is not here. You Cash money <laughs> have to come up because I want to hear from you. I need cash. <laughs> and we have ALB. From AOB, we have ALB. I don't know the name of the person, but please, you can talk. Eh? Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening boss. Okay, on the reference form, why will National Service for under 3.3? Is it part time or full time? It's full time. Full time, okay. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. All right. And it is uh, Ayim, Ayim Bila. Please, are you there? Idisa Ayimbila. Okay. The person is not talking. So let me go to Frank. Frank Okwabi. Frank, Mr. Frank, please, are you there? Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Frank. Yeah, I wanted okay. to find out after filling the Google form of intent. Will you receive any form of message before you go ahead to do the no. membership on the portal? No. The so you can do the membership is... on the portal straight away? Yes. Okay. okay. Please don't be waiting for any other information again. No? The letter that you've received is enough to guide you and with the instructions and all the other documents attached. The Google form as indicated in it is only for billing purposes. Okay. That's it. Okay. Please, I wanted to know, should your CV follow any particular format before you upload it? Hey, debut. You. Your CV is your CV. How you present it, you take it like that. But just make sure that the primary information that are required are in there. Okay. Thank you very much. Well. Yes, sir. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, good evening, good evening, Madam Ikea. Please, yes, I wanted to ask about the JPEG picture. If you are mm -hmm. submitting it and currently you are not working and you need to send the picture, you said you have to put your name and your workplace. If you are not working at the moment, yes, should you yes, just, add, just add your name? Yes, just your name is fine. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let me go to Mazi from Mazi that Michelle will also come. So Mazi, Mazi, are you there? Hello, okay. Mazi, we can't hear you. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, please, but I want to find out. For instance, you are working with other services. and now none of your bosses is qualified. But you have some that are qualified at the regional office. Can you let them 
uh, uh, you uh, uh, take one of them or two of them as your Is it at any point to provide your work? Come again. Because I believe the district work feeds into the regional. Come again. I can't hear you. What I'm asking is that I believe the work of the district feeds into the dish, the regional, right? You work on the work hand in hand. That's what I'm saying. So then, yes, they can give you. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. So, Michelle. Michelle Barnes. Yes, Michelle Barnes. Good evening. Okay. And good evening, <laughs> Madam Good um, evening. I want to... I wanted to find out, um, I think you mentioned at the beginning that in case you'll be absent during the graduation, let's say you're not in the country, you're supposed to inform ICAG in writing to inform them of your absence. So yeah. I was, I wanted to find out, I, so is it that you, you do that via mail and then through which email address are you supposed to inform ICAG? You can send it to me, which I would print it and have it delivered to the CEO's office. So officially okay. has to be in a letter addressed to the CEO and then signed by yourself, stating the reason why you would not be present. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. So, and sorry, sorry, the next question. Sorry, I asked this in the chat box, but I think I had asked the follow up question in regards to the banking. The let's say you work at the front desk, let's say a customer service officer inquiry. But let's say you still did some of the work in accounting auditing. Do you still qualify to apply for membership? You would have to state when you did the accounting and auditing work. And you have to also separate when you did the front desk work. That's very key. Okay. Okay. All right. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let me be frank with you. There's this name that I cannot mention, but I will try my best. The Spell last it. name... I know uh, B A A B I I L E K U U. It's is the person. We understand. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> it's um Gele Babi Hey, you boss. You boss Okay. Uh, my question is um if you are you were a TA on campus, yeah. as a national service person, TA, so you were yeah. doing tutorials for accounting courses. Okay. Is it qualified? Yes. Okay, the second question is, so for example, you are you are supporting two lecturers. Mm -hmm. That you are, you are so can you use the two of them as your replace? No. National service is only for one, so you only use one person. This man okay. wants to serve ICU. Thank you. <laughs> okay, <Hello>? so Emmanuel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, good evening. So my good question evening. is you 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 mentioned something about self employment. So with that one, who who then approves your your forms for you if you are self-employed? You mean the reference form? Yes, yes, I mean. And you don't have uh, an HR? No, so someone asked that question. That's, um, yes, the and I made currently... reference to the fact that if the person had auditors, then the auditors can give him the reference. But if not, you should put measures in place to get auditors to review his work and employ them full time so that you can fall on them for the reference. All right. So the person mentioned that the person does um, online, I mean, business, it means that it's informal. So there's nothing like auditing. So What's the question that? is in the... Is he not Hello? taking money? Is he not paying his dues as far as taxes are concerned? Now, business is no longer just what you can see. Virtual business is also ongoing. People are making good money there. So no discrimination, whether formal or informal. It's still business. All right, I get it. But the question is uh, who to, like, because I'm not seeing the tendency of, I mean, such business having auditors to come and audit such business. I don't know if Have you Have you get... contracted an auditor and the people said they could not? Well, okay, thank you. So that is the first question. And the second one is that, I did I did my national service with um, HR. However, I was handling um, accounting stuff. Yeah. I don't know if that qualifies me to sort of, uh, I mean, when it comes to payroll and then claims, I was the one in charge. So I don't know okay. if- Okay, so if I may clarify something here, 
it is not about where you did it it's about what you did so someone was referring to he did a service in a farm no a farm is still a place of business but then what were you doing there so All right. when it comes to membership it's about what you were doing not where you did it okay thank you so the one last thing sure. um someone made mention uh, i think uh, i can um i mean i have experience with that so i worked in 2018 for like mm -hmm. two years and mm -hmm. then after leaving after leaving for school i realized that uh, the man who was in charge of the business i mean ran away with their money hey. i just don't i just don't know how to go about this one because ideally i worked right the records the records are there that i worked for the two years but however such supervisor is not available now to, to sort of endorse for me. So what would, what would be my bailout? <laughs> bail oh, I have that for my but, TV. But Imano, even, if that per... <laughs> Imano, even if that person is available now, will you go for that person to be your referee? I get where it's coming from, but you see, you mentioned that I it's about what yes, I did. I and I have a feeling of I've worked for that. I have that two years experience. Of so course. does it Did mean that the it is not there? It, it should go down the drain. It can never go down the drain. Of course, you did have mass experience from there, so we respect that. Did you have auditors? Uh, no, uh, that was twenty eighteen. Um, informal business as such, there wasn't anything like an, an auditor. <laughs> <laughs> you might, this one there. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, I should go. That ahead. would that would have been your only bailout mm. uh, if you had audited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, it was this small micro, micro what uh, micro finance uh, business then. Very sorry about that. So I have to throw it away. So it means that if I aggregate everything. I'll be short of like four months. I don't know if I still I should still proceed to apply. No. Nope. This one next year. Next year. <laughs> this one, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Ah, one last thing. One last thing. This one I'm asking for someone. So assuming you apply for the membership mm. and let's say you are denied, do you get refund? Ah. Of your fifty thousand. But nobody will collect any money from you. Your, your no, only... I mean the membership payment. Uh, what no, was it? no, you pay no. only upon approval of your application. No, 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 it will not yeah. be billed to you. Okay, okay. All right, then that's fair. All right, thank you. Welcome. I think we have about that. I think seven minutes to close. So we're supposed yes. to close at seven thirty. You are so. like my long yes. so guest. I, I won't. I won't take more. <laughs> Let me take like five in addition. Then I think no, no, no. Five would be too much. We take the last three questions. Then we shut. Down. Okay. So patience, yeah. Mrs. Yes, patience. Sir. Yes. Yeah. Patience, how many times will you ask a question? Oh, so mm -hmm. it's for clarity, so that we don't go into. Hey. Do... <laughs> I think, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's on the reference form again. Um, uh, three point four. When you say can you attach the from the work schedule? Do I attach for each referee or just yes. one is enough? If you worked at the same place. Yes, the yes, same. Piece. But still, you have to have, uh, attach for each. Yeah. For each. Yes. Okay. So when I scan oh. the reference, so I should add it to it and attach, and then you scan uh, them oh. as one document. Okay, for each referee. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have one, one, uh, the, the last two. Mr. White, Iman... I'm not done. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> really? Mm. <laughs> When I was doing the registration, I used my name, patients, but my school uh, certificates were all my maiden name, my father's name. So do I still need to upload the affidavit or because I've already done, it's okay? Because we've already done what? Like the registration. As a student, I used patients, I did all the and need. the certificates which you provided would be different. So it will be in your best interest if you upload the gazette. Okay. You scan the gazette with the Ghana, your identification card, being Ghana card or passport. That's one document. Okay. 
Thank you. So, Boachi, let's take the last, uh, the last two people, and then we shut down. Okay. All right, sir. So, Madam Kuya, I think we have uh, <laughs> this person, Cash Money Trading Enterprise. Mm -hmm. Please mm -hmm. come and spray us with some cash. Eh? Mm -hmm. Where are you? Cash Money. Cash Money is not coming. So, oh, Mr. Yeah, hello, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, Madam Kuya and uh, all the panelists. Yes, good evening. Uh, this is Abraham Adeko Kwame, Cash Money Trading Enterprise. Uh, I worked with GRA for one year. That is okay. qualified. I worked also with uh, an agri business, which is uh, a subsidiary of Wenko Agriculture in Tamale mm. for five and a half years plus before the company folded up. The auditors were Deloitte and Touch. Mm. Uh, so I, I don't have contact to any of my former executives or whatever to sign for me. Can really I go to Deloitte and talk? Yes. Okay. Yes, go get in touch with Deloitte. Deloitte, okay. Yes. And then the, how many referees do I have to provide? From where? That's one. That's one. From Deloitte. From where? One. Yes, one. And it's enough for me to be considered as a member. You need two referees. So the first okay, one so, from the way you did So the GRA, GRA, I can go to GRA head office and then get one. Exactly. Okay. okay. All right. So, uh, uh, some of our we don't intend to go into formal office again. So, uh, you have to create room for us. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> That's funny. Which room is that? <laughs> <laughs> you say here we should be business leaders. So, we are trying to create jobs on our own. Yeah, yeah, like that's that. a very good room. <laughs> We'll now, with cash money you. trading enterprise, yes, you should have spread yes, us with some, some cash. Uh, I retail uh, clothing, men's shirts, uh, trousers, ladies' dresses, shoes, sandals. So this is the correct habit. The name is okay. Abraham, Abraham Niche Fashion. You can check me Facebook, online, hey. Instagram. Yeah. Okay, see. Thank you. Madam thank you. you can I think you have, like uh, my page. Let's take the one. last question there. So, I think Honorable, uh, honorable mm, Nia Nan. Indiana, let's take you and then we close. Honorable Niana. Honorable Niana, do you have a question? Hello, yes. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, boss. Yes. Um, please take into consideration the um amounts in question, the 5140. Mm. And the pending application of um, um we the people who are applying the um um, we, we want to know because if if the, the time is also very short so that we can come up with it, we can raise the money because I don't know if if we should um, go and pay the money now we can get a refund later or we should just be because... I think so. don't go and pay the money if you are paying the money to who as what how would finance even clarify classify your um the payment and each payment will also have to be made on a portal and it's linked to your account and there has to be a bill on the account before you can even make the payment. So not to complicate the things, please, if you have the money, kindly keep it somewhere safe. If you feel you will chop it, and if you trust anybody, please go and give it to that person, which I wouldn't even advise. So that one day, I beg you, just go and look for a safe place to keep the money. When you're ready and your, your application has been approved, then you make the payment. Okay. And you said by um, next week or the March, um those who qualified in March would have received their approvals. I didn't say by next week. I am hopeful that by next week, it is not conk that it would be already by then. But I'm just hoping that by then you would have received everything. Okay. We are most grateful. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, Madam Madam Thank you very much. I will leave you now in the hands of Mr. Ellie to continue. Oh, I think with we, are done. we are done. Yes. You guys and, want um, to, yes. I'm very you guys want glad. to say thank you for thank you for <laughs> For availing yourself yeah. uh, with all your busy schedule to get all our colleagues to clarify their issues. And I hope that this time nobody's forms will be rejected. I'm praying so because if at 3.5 will be a pass. <laughs> if at 3.5 will be a good paper that we all qualify <laughs> and be inducted into membership. Okay. <laughs> okay, so thank you all and have a blessed evening. Bye-bye. Oh, bye. Bye, Sally. <laughs>